Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. I hope all of you in a good health. Today, we're going to learn about convert unit of mass. The unit that is involved in today's lesson is kg and g. Kg stands for kilogram and g stands for gram. Before we learn more about this, we need to know the basic fact for kilogram and grams. 1 kilogram is equals to 1000 gram. So, if you want to convert kilograms to grams, that means you need to times, you need to multiply by 1000. And if you want to convert grams to kilograms, you need to divide by 1000. Let's look at to the example. Convert 2 kilograms to grams. So we already know 1 kilogram is equals to 1000. If 1 kilogram is 1000, that means 2 kilogram is 2000 gram. Or else you can do it by calculation, which is 2 times with 1000. Because, as I mentioned earlier, if you want to convert kilograms to grams, you need to times by 1000. So, 2 times with 1000 is equals to 2000. That means, 2 kilogram is equals to 2000 gram. Next one, convert 16 kilograms to grams. Again, 1 kilogram is equals to 1000 grams. So, if you want to convert kilograms to grams, you need to times. So, for this one, you times 16 with 1000. And then, you will get 16 times with 1 is 16. And then, we have another 301230 at the back. So, you just add on 30 at the back. We will get 16,000. So, 16 kilogram is equals to 16,000 gram. Let's move to the next example. Convert 5,000 grams to kilograms. So, this is the vice versa with what we do just now. If we want to convert grams to kilograms, we need to do divide. So, for this question, 4,000 gram, you need to divide it by... 1000 What do we get? As you can see, if we want to divide any number with 1000, we can do shortest way which is can just cross the zero. For this one, for this one, we have 30 at the 1000. That's mean we can just cross 30 at the 4000. So first zero, second and then the third zero. So 4000 divided by 1000 equals to 4. That means 4000 grams is equals to 4 kilograms. Or you can check your answer. If 1 equals to 1000, then 2 is equals to 2000, then 3 is equals to 3000, then 4 is equals to 4000. Yes. So, we get the same answer which is 4,000 grams is equal to 4 kilograms. Let's move to the next example. Convert 27,000 grams to kilograms. So, again, for this time, if we want to convert grams to kilogram, we need to divide it. So, 20,000 divided by 1,000 is equal to... We have 3 zero at the 1000, so we can just directly cross the 3 zero from the 27,000. So the first zero, second, and the third. So now we have 27,000 divided by 1000 is equal to 27. So the final answer is 27,000 gram is actually equals to 27 kilograms. If you want to check your answer, you can times 27 kilograms, convert it into grams, you will get 27,000 grams. Next example, convert 3 kilograms, 407 grams to grams. 
so this is a bit different from the example earlier as you can see for this one we have two value which is kilograms and grams for this kind of questions we need to do one by one which is we convert the kilogram first to convert kilograms to grams you need to times yes so three kilograms times with one thousand and then we will get three thousand grams how about the second value 407 gram so for this one you did not need to convert it because it is less than 1000 so you just add the balance to the number that you convert earlier 3000 gram you just plus with the second value which is 407 grams so now we have two value of grams 3000 and 407 so we just plus it 3000 plus with 407 is equals to 7043 yeah the final answer is 3407 grams so actually 3 kilograms 407 grams is equals to 3407 gram next one convert 8 kilograms 65 grams into grams so again this time as you can see we have two value which is kilograms and grams that's mean we need to do one by one so for the kilograms we convert it to gram first that's mean 8 times with 1000 and then we will get 8000 grams for the second value 65 grams no need to do anything because it is less than 1000 so you just directly plus 8 65 gram so 8000 if you plus with 65 you will get 8065 grams so 8 kilograms 65 grams is actually equals to 8065 gram next one convert 4972 grams to kilograms and grams so for this one you are given value in grams but then we want the answer in two amount two value which is kilograms and grams so you need to do one by one which is you need to find which is the value for kilograms we already know that one kilogram is equal to 1000 that's mean we need to find the numbers that is counting in thousand so for this one we have four thousand so we separated it which is 4,000 grams and then you plus with the balance which is less than 1,000 we have 972 grams that's the first thing next one you convert the 4,000 grams to kilograms next one if 4,000 you divided it by 1,000 is equals to yes you can just cross the zero so we have three zero over here four thousand divided by one thousand is equals to four that's mean four kilograms and then you just plus with the balance which is 972 grams four kilograms plus with 972 grams is equals to four kilograms and 972 grams so we can see that 4972 grams is equals to 4 kilograms and 972 grams let's look at to the last example we have 3019 grams convert it to kilograms and grams so again for this one if the questions wants you to give the answer in two unit kilograms and grams together so you need to convert the value separately so we already know that one kilogram is equals to 1000 grams right so you separated the thousand from the number so here we have 3000 so take out 3000 that means it's, it's 3000 grams you plus with the balance which is less than thousand we have 19 grams so next one convert 3000 grams to kilograms that's mean you divided 3000 with 1000 
3000 if you divide it with 1000 it will be 1 2 3 0 then you just can cross the 3 0 from the 3000 you got 3 that's mean 3000 gram is equal to 3 kilograms plus with the balance which is 19 grams then the final answer is 3 kilograms and 19 grams so 3019 grams is actually equals to 3 kilograms and 19 grams before we end this lesson let's try to do this exercise together 3 kilogram is equals to how many grams yes we already know the basic fact is 1 kilogram is equals to 1000 grams so if 1 kilogram is equals to 1000 grams that means 3 kilograms is equals to 3000 gram or you just can multiply 3 with 1000 you will get 3000 next one convert 5000 grams to kilograms so again if you want to convert grams to kilograms you need to divide so divide it by 1000 you can do the shortest way because there are 3 zero from 1000 and there are also 3 zero at the 5000 so you just cross the 3 zero so 5000 grams is actually equals to 5 kilograms next one 4 kilogram and 92 grams and convert it into grams what will you get so for this one since it has two value you need to do it one by one convert the 4 kilogram first 4 kilograms times with 1000 you will get 4000 grams plus with the grams value which is 92 so 4000 plus with 92 you will get 4092 gram so 4 kg 92 g is equals to 4092 g grams and last one 8001 grams convert to kilograms and grams so for this one since we want the answer in two value, you need to convert it by separate the thousand by separate the thousand from the actual value. So we have eight thousand over here. That means you need to take out eight thousand first, eight thousand grams plus with the balance, which is one gram, and then convert eight thousand grams to kilograms. You will get eight kilograms plus with the 1 gram so the final answer is 8001 gram is actually equals to 8 kilograms and 1 grams that's all for today i hope you understand this lesson and see you again next time thank you